Good afternoon and welcome to the House of European Football for the draw for the group stage of the 2022-23 UEFA Women's Champions League. This summer's Women's Euro was an extraordinary success and a landmark event that demonstrated in every possible way that women's football is here, is here to stay. I know I'm not supposed to talk about the Women's Euro, but I need to stress that this success did not come overnight as it was the culmination of a truly historic season, of which we can be all proud. A season in which the Women's Champions League and you, the clubs, were paving the way and creating a pan-European, even worldwide movement and building a foundation for this success to happen. So put the quotes into the bin when people say there's a standstill between international tournaments. That's wrong. Now there are many domestic leagues professionalizing day by day and there is the Women's Champions League. And what memories it brought us. We had a group stage for the first time pitting the best teams and the best players in the world against each other in thrilling matches. We rode attendance records across several countries, sometimes even world records. Who can ever forget this? We changed perceptions because people thought there are no fans in women's football. We opened one iconic men's stadium after another. We pulled in fans from over 200 countries watching on TV or digital devices. We captured more eyes for our future generations of footballers to rise. And we have grown to a point where women's football has never been more popular, where female role models are finally being seen and player registrations are up and still rising. And you know what? We will do it again this season. So let's keep striving for better conditions. Let's keep opening big stadia and let's keep showing the world how exciting our game is and what it stands for. This is what the Women's Champions League is all about. But who are actually the clubs who made it to the promised land? This year's group stage features some familiar faces and six teams making their debut in this round. And that's also what the Women's Champions League is about. New faces, more chances for more countries to develop women's football across Europe. One thing is for sure, all of them will be aiming to dethrone our champions, Olympic Lyonnais, next June in Eindhoven. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the teams. So, everyone excited and ready for the draw? I see, I see smiling faces. I think we are. And to help me with today's draw, I have a very special guest. She played for the Netherlands more than 130 times and scored 59 goals. She played in the Champions League and in two Euros. And I think it's fair to say that she's someone I'm quite familiar with as our path crossed many times on the pitch where she was unfortunately a bit too fast for me 
but off the pitch as well, where we conducted together the Women's Euro 2017 draw. She's now doing a tremendous job as the Women's Football Development Manager at Feyenoord. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look who that is. Manu, thank you very much thank for you. joining us. Uh, a great pleasure to have you here. Ready for our second draw? Yes, I am. We, <laughs> we're building on our experience. Yes. Manu, it's been a great year for women's football. So many special moments. Are there any special moment, any special moments that stand out for you? Um, I'm really happy to see so many people visiting the games, mm -hmm. uh, the Barcelona games, of course, but also uh, at the Euros, all the games, so many people and so many records. So that's amazing to see. The crowds really yeah. changed perceptions, didn't they? Yeah. And now looking a little bit more towards your new role uh, at Feyenoord, yeah. what, is your, what is your job about? How can we imagine it? Well, I'm responsible for the first team, but also for the youth teams. Mm -hmm. So everything about football, of course, um, and some uh, li little things outside, of course. Um, we're just working on developing the game, especially for the girls, um, equal team. So providing access yeah. really on the ground, so, so important. And talking a little bit about youngsters, congratulations, you're a <laughs> mum of two. Yeah. I hope I can reveal this. Uh, one boy, one girl, but yeah. now thinking about your girl and also reflecting on your career, what do you think are the greatest, the biggest differences if you compare it to, yeah, what girls can, how girls can get involved in football today yeah. in comparison to the past? Well, a great thing is there are so many role models now. When I was young, I had no idea. And now, you know, she's coming with me to the games. Uh, she can see that she can do whatever she wants. She can dream about playing for big clubs, for big crowds. So that's the most important we thing. We really like that, that you already influence her. And yeah, yeah, of course. Make her become a, <laughs> not much choice left other than become a footballer. And last but not least, the final this year comes home, comes yeah. to the Netherlands. We know you are very good in organizing. You are even better at partying. What can we expect from the final? Will we have a sellout? Can you? Yeah, hopefully it's sold out. Um, and I think it's a good chance for the young girls to see the role models on the field. Of course, world-class players uh, and hopefully the two best teams of Europe playing against each other. That sounds perfect. Manu, yeah. again, thank you very much for thank being you. here with us. Please yeah. join me here uh, in your position. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for the technical procedure. The 16 teams have been allocated to four pots in accordance with the following principles. Pot one comprises the UEFA Women's Champions League title holder and domestic champions of France, Olympique Lyonnais, and the domestic champions of Germany, England and Spain. The remaining 12 teams have been split into three pots based on their position in the UEFA club coefficient rankings. Since the same number of UEFA Women's Champions League matches are played on both Wednesdays and Thursdays, or on both Thursday and Friday, the groups are divided into two colours – red for groups A and B, and blue for groups C and D. The red groups will play on one match night, and the blue groups will play on the other. This will be applied for all match days. For TV coverage reasons, every two teams from one country are paired in order to be split into the red and blue groups. The UEFA Women's Champions League title holder, as well as the domestic champions of Pot 1, will be drawn first. The four teams will be drawn and will be allocated to the four groups in alphabetical order, from Group A to Group D. For Pot 2, a ball will be drawn at random and opened to display the name. The computer will then show which groups are available for this club, in accordance with the established principles, such as country protection and TV pairings. A draw will then be made to determine which of these available groups the club is assigned to. It must be noted that the number of options available to a team, 
depends not only on the team's own attributes and those of the teams already drawn, but also on the attributes of the other teams still to be drawn. This is due to the computer calculations needed to anticipate all possible scenarios and to prevent any deadlock situation. Once the four teams of pot two have been allocated to a group, the same procedure will apply for pots three and four to complete all the groups. And once the draw procedure has been completed, a computer draw will then determine the final positions of all clubs within the four groups, as the position in the group determines the match schedule. In this respect, the computer will ensure that stadium clashes and winter venues are taken into account. The match calendar will be released Monday evening at the latest. So that was the draw procedure, everything clear and straightforward. Manon is already with me and will assist us today. But one piece, one person is missing on stage to make the trio complete that we need for this special draw. Please welcome on stage my colleague David Gaff. Hi, David. Hi, All right, ready, ready for the draw? Excited. Fantastic. So just a, a quick recap. Manon will be the lucky one drawing the teams today. And we move our way forward from pot one, two, three, four. If necessary, there will be an additional draw that establish the group the team can go into depending on the teams and then David and I come in play. So Manon, kick us yes. off please with pot one oh, well. and the first team drawn in this group stage. Pot one teams. First team drawn. Chelsea. Is Chelsea. And Chelsea goes into Group A, of course, for the first pot, the teams will be allocated in alphabetical order. Manon, please yep. tell us the next team. Stir and let us know who will go into Group B. Oh. Wolfsburg. It will be Fauerfeld Wolfsburg. Winners 2013 and 14 go to Group B. Group C, yeah. next team to be drawn into Group C. Two more left in pot one. Who is it? Mm. It will be... Olympic Lyonnais. Olympic Lyonnais in Group C. All right. Fantastic. So tell us the last team. <laughs> it's clear who that is. Barcelona. Exactly. FC Barcelona, the Spanish champions. Fantastic. Yes. One pot already done. We're moving forward to pot two. Yeah. Stir the, again, please, and tell us the first team. Now we need to slow down a little bit. Perhaps. <laughs> and the first team out of pot two. Slavia Bra. Slavia Bra and... Slavia Bra can go into group A and B. So David prepares this. So let us find out. Where Bra goes into, and it will be group B. All right, Bra will join. Wolfsburg and Group B. Manon, please tell us the next team out of pot two. With Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern München and Arsenal still in there. Great. Bayern München. And Bayern München can go into Group C and D. see who they face off against. It will be... Oh, that's a difficult one. <laughs> do it so often and I still don't learn. Group D, Barcelona. All right. Manon, yes. please, again, you. Mm. 
will be Arsenal women. Mm. Yes, Arsenal. And we know Arsenal can only go into Group C. So no draw is necessary due to the constraint with Chelsea. Please tell us the last team and this team will be also allocated logically directly to Group A. Which will be... Paris Saint-Germain. Exactly. Paris Saint-Germain joins Chelsea in Group A. Fantastic. Halfway through. Okay, <laughs> Two more pots to go, please. Kick us off. Pot three. And teams are Rosengard, Juventus, Real Madrid and St. Pölten. So, who do we have? Real Madrid. We have Real Madrid. And therefore, Group A and B are available. The, the air is heating up in here. The oxy oxygen is going. <laughs> so, Real Madrid will be Group A. Fantastic. So, Mano, next one, yes. please. Juventus. It will be Juventus. And Juventus can go into three groups, B, C and D. Quarterfinalists in, in 2022. And the champions, the Italian champions. Juventus will join Group C together with Olympique Lyonnais and Arsenal. Plus two balls out of pot three. St. Polten. St. Polten, exactly. Group B and D are available. Correct. No constraints for St. Pölten. Voila. We'll be in Group B. And last but not least, we know who this is. <coughs> And it will be directly out. Rosengard. Exactly. It will be Rosengard, and Rosengard goes into Group D. No draw necessary, of course, the last available group. Manon, please yes. kick us off the last pot to complete this group stage already. FC Zurich, Vlasnia, Benfica, Roma, all newcomers. Ah, as Roma. Ah, <laughs> as Roma is the team. And uh, as Roma can go into group A and B. Let's see. Who as Roma will face off against? It will be. It's really not my day in opening fate. It will be group B: VW Wolfsburg, Slavia Braha, and St. Pölten. Fantastic. Yeah. Next team, please. So, who do we have now? Vlasnia. Vlasnia will, can go into group A, C and D. Fantastic. Great success for, for Vlasnia. Best result before was the round of 32. Vlasnia will complete group A. Therefore, we'll face off against Chelsea, Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid. Okay, mm -hmm. two more balls to go. Mm -hmm. 
Benfica. Benfica. Already in their second season, the second time in the group stage. Group C and D available. So, the second last ball before we already finish, conclude this draw. Benfica will be part of Group D. All right. Last but not least. Of course, Zurich. FC Zurich will be automatically allocated to Group C. So, let's take a quick look and recap on the results. Group A will be Chelsea, Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid and Vlasnia. Group B, VfL Wolfsburg, Slavia, Bra, St. Pölten and Ars Roma. Olympic Lyonnais, Arsenal, London and Juventus and Zurich will pair in, will compete in Group C, and Group B will consist of Barcelona, Bayern München, Rosengart and Benfica. So, that already concludes today's draw. Some certainly spicy group matches ahead. We all look forward to this, and we wish you, of course, the best of luck for the games that begin on the 19th and 20th of October. Uh, the fixture list you can expect later today. And please, everyone out there, go and see the matches live. And if you can't see them live, or try to do it in parallel, tune in at The Zone or YouTube uh, to follow our fantastic competition. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Manon. You've thank been you. fantastic. David, thank you as well. You've been also very good. So, <laughs> goodbye from New York. We wish you all the very best.